Hey, hey, guys, what is up? It is Paul back with another episode of The School Zone, the channel where we're redefining the traditional walkthrough. So we are just straight picking back up from where we left off. In the last mission, we took out another one of the Flak 88s, and we got one left. We might be able to finish this mission in this episode. Hopefully it won't be too long. So let's move on through this little cave. I think it's just going to go back to where we were, but I'm just going to play it safe. Yep, it just goes back to where we were. Okay, I don't think there's any more guards, but I could be wrong. Oh, there is one guard right there. He might be a, just a lone wolf. Let's go ahead and take him out. Right to the foe head. Man, gave that fool a haircut. <laughs> okay, I think he might be the last one in this area, so I'm just going to pick him up and throw him off. <laughs> Ghost, gotta love it. Yep, nothing up here. Might have been in some of these areas already. Not positive. Oh, yes, yes, we have. There was that machine gun. There's the bell tower I had so much trouble in. There are the tanks that we blew up. So let's just roll on to the next area. Okay, so I know from memory that that area up there, that little canyon pass, is going to be an area we need to go up for the end of the mission. So we don't need to go into that area. But we're just going to roll up into this area. And I'm just going to take a quick peek at the map here. Yep, there's two ways we can go, through this little cave or around to the left. I'm going to go ahead and go the sneaky route. In fact, I'm going to get out my little silencer. All right, so we're starting to see some trucks. Oh, we got our first blip on the radar. I see one guard right there. Oh, he's the second one. You know what? I'm going to do that thing I did. Crawl under. Oh, I see another one right there. Oh, and there he is. I'm going to try to take him out, right? Oh. Okay, that was terrible. <laughs> Some days my reaction time is spot on, and other days I'm just a little bit distracted. Let's see if we can... Uh... There we go. Okay, so now we can uh, come on up around behind this guy. Hopefully he won't notice us. That's right. And this guy. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just sneak on up behind him and stab him. Right in the throat. Oh my goodness, almost got noticed. Okay, I definitely want to search this guy. Who almost noticed us? 
guy on a turret. Okay, that's very uncool. <laughs> In fact, let's uh, go ahead and carry this guy, which will get to loot at the same time. Of course, he had nothing, but we'll throw him back here so he doesn't get noticed. And then let's go ahead and search this guy right here. Oh, I see another guy trying to... Woo, that was close. All right, well, let's uh, sneak behind this little barrel here. And let me give you a quick factoid before I forget it, because this little thing sticking up out of this uh, barrel has a name. It's actually called a drum pump. They're usually tapped into gas barrels and they could be cranked for pressure to uh, feed uh, petrol or diesel into vehicles or, you know, smaller containers such as lamps and generators and stuff. They basically created mobile gas stations. So that's what that is. Still haven't figured out what these trucks are. Don't matter too much. We gotta move on to higher things, literally. Okay, so we're gonna get some clear shots across the way from up here. So before I worry about the guys down that little ravine, I'm gonna try to make my way up and around to that uh, little sniper's nest or that watchtower. Any dudes we can peg from over here yet? Not yet. I'm seeing a little cave here on the left. Oh, there's one guy right there. Definitely tag him. Okay, I'm interested to see if this little cave will go up and around. Not seeing any dots on the radar, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Wow, are we... We're full on landmines and full on grenades. That's, that's pretty awesome. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and plant one right here just for the fun of it in case we get chased. <laughs> oh, and we're getting chased. Oh my goodness. Goodness, don't notice us. Okay. He's going to get blown up. Let's watch it. Boom! <laughs> that was awesome. In fact, we can use a grenade now. <laughs> and just pick that one up. Sweet. That's right. I'm just going to play it cool here for a second. Okay, I'm impatient. <laughs> Well, that was fun. All clear. Very cool. Oh, I see one more dot on the menu. Two more dots on the menu. You can always tell when they're on the same level as you because they're kind of a, a brighter white color. The grayish dot is probably one of the guys up there. So, you know what we're going to do? Another cool feature about those dots is that they can tell you which direction they're facing. So we're gonna go ahead and do our little undercarriage tactic here. Oh, there he is right there. Let's tag him. Oh no. Can't seem to back up. There we go. I really want to try to sh oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I 
There, here we go. I wonder if I can get to him in time. Come on, come on. That's right. Oh, Master Sergeant. Oh, that's badass. Actually, I want to want to throw him over. Woo! Okay. There's a guy up here, so we're still going to play it cool. Master Sergeant. That's pretty awesome. Where are you? I couldn't see you from the ground. Why is that? Oh, because you're trying to be sneaky, but you will not be. Oh, look what he's got. Well, that's interesting. Panzer Shrek. Well, I can tell you a little bit about that. So you can probably tell from looking at it, a Panzer Shrek is a type of German rocket launcher. Sometimes it was shortened to um, RPZB. The American equivalent was the old bazooka. Although the uh, Panzer Shrek was a bit larger and had some improved features. Um, in real life, it weighed about 25 pounds and uh, was about five feet long. It could basically take out tanks from 500 feet away. Was it the first rocket launcher though? Nope. The Chinese have had launchable rockets for hundreds of years since, you know, they were the first to invent gunpowder and all. But if we're talking about actual ballistic missile technology, the Nazis were the first with the V2 rocket. So I'm actually not going to pick it up, though, because we want to do some sniping. And that thing is loud as hell. So let's just continue to mark these guys. Oh, I see one right there. Okay, looks like there's only three guys over there. Huh, interesting. Okay, well, let's definitely take a look over here. Oh, that guy's got a Luger. Oh, that's General Hosslein. All right, well, he's uh, one of our optional objectives, and he's surrounded by... Yep, two guys with... Uh, with Panzer Shreks themselves. I'm just gonna go and mark these guys, even though we'll probably blow them up with the uh, Flak 88. Okay, so those guys probably won't hear me take these guys out. So let me go ahead and do that first. And please don't let me hit the wood like in that first adventure. That was... Embarrassing. Alright, so we will wait until they fire off that Flak 88 again, and then we'll give this guy a little headache. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh no. Oh man. I almost fired just out of impatience. Okay. Well, let's... Is he going to walk right by that uh, gas tank? If he is, I'm going to just take them both out with this. Come on, take a left. Take a left, buddy. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, my goodness. What are you going to do? Just stand there? All right, this guy is annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out since he's uh, being quite still. There we go. It ended already, did you see that? I didn't even get the chance to zoom in. Oh my God, we gotta take these shots like super quick. Guy's got a little manly leg spread there, so we're gonna get him right in the nets. It ended. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, that's why I wouldn't shoot because I am too close to the uh, 
edge. I was like, I, I was like, I pressed the button and didn't do anything. All right, so let's, although I hate to do it, let's go ahead and stand up so we can get this shot off. Maybe if it's um, sound mass, they won't they won't know. It's not as steady when you're standing up. Oh no! Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Testicle shot. Okay, that'll be one for the anatomy lesson. <laughs> Okay, well, at least they didn't notice. So I am gonna go ahead and shoot this thing. Oh, sweet, I killed one. Did it kill two of them? It did, no, it didn't. Okay, that guy just, you know what? I'm gonna take him out, oh, perfect. The bars came up right as I was getting impatient there. Eyeball! Oh no! Guys, like, where are my friends disappearing to? Okay, one more, and we'll start taking out the uh, fools on the other side. I don't think that was sound mass, but he's the last guy. Another nut shot. <laughs> See if I can lay down. Why won't it let me lay down? Okay. Can I reach? Okay, it's probably gonna make me hit the wood, but why not? Let's go for another, uh, let's go for another ball shot here. Do you see that gun sticking through the wood? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I missed his... <laughs> okay, I missed his uh, male anatomy there, but uh, I did get him in the leg, and that probably took out a major artery in uh, his leg called the femoral artery. Uh, one of you guys uh, answered the question as to what was the major... Uh, artery in the arm during uh, the couple of episodes where I had the open mic on the school zone. So I was impressed with that. Very happy that people are getting it. <laughs> so we're all clear, but we are going to go ahead and have to start taking out these guys with the Panzer Shreks. Because... Why can't I shoot? Okay, probably because... Oh, wouldn't that have been so cool if I could have caught him right when they were crossing paths? Probably could have gotten both of them at the same time. You know what? This might be a good time for that Panzer Shrek. Why not? They're all kind of clumped over there. So let's just go for it. Kaboom! Took three of them out. That's what I wanted to see. We're gonna switch back because I don't want to keep that weapon, but uh, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Two guys left. See if we can take them out from over here. Nope, the wood's blocking it. That's all right, though. Okay, let's go for a headshot. Why am I not able to shoot? Let's try this again. Oh, now they're gonna go back to work. Maybe not. Okay, something's going on where I'm not able to shoot. I'm gonna probably just have to stand up. It's really finicky like that, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, no. oh, poor guy. He's all that's left. Oh, man, pwned. So, let's keep moving. All right. I think we're safe to run now. Okay, so let's search these guys and uh, see if there's any facts left to school around here. Completely empty, what's going on with that? I don't need any bandages. How about some ammo? No ammo, wow. All right, well, that's what happens when you play the game smart. Did we search this guy over here? No, we didn't. Come on, man. Controller's getting a little finicky on me. Okay, well, uh, you know what? Just for the fun of it, We're gonna take out that Flak 88 with the machine gun. Ready? Oh, there was one dude left. See that? Awesome! How many other walkthroughs have you watched where somebody took out that Flak 88 with a machine gun? Bet I'm the first. <laughs> By the way, while we're running back to our objective here, uh, I did some research between games to see if there was a real-life equivalent of Carl Fairburn. You know, somebody they may have based the character on, and I think I may have stumbled on it. There was a famous British soldier during World War II named William Fairbairn, spelled with an A instead of a U, but it's quite close otherwise. He was uh, famous for being a hand-to-hand -hand combat specialist, uh, and he helped develop a special kind of fighting knife, which actually looks almost precisely like those trench knives that we see stuck in the tables around the game. I mentioned that a couple episodes back. He also created a type of martial arts called Defendu. <laughs> Believe it or not, real name. Uh, and this was all leading up to World War II, so it's been around for a while. And could explain that crazy neckbreaker move that Carl does during his sneak attacks, because uh, Defendu was a kind of a cross between jujitsu and boxing. It's considered one of the early forms of mixed martial arts, actually. And some sources even claim that Ian Fleming based the character of Q from James Bond on William Fairburn. Wild, huh? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, run through this little cave that we came through here. Uh, it's just a lantern. Okay, so the uh, mission isn't quite over yet. Uh, there's something that we have to take out called a Panzer III. So before I go and get in the uh, danger zone there, let me tell you what a Panzer III is real quick. So the Panzer III is a type of German tank, and I guess the third model of its kind. Uh, Panzer means armor in German, and uh, it was basically a series of tank types built by the Nazis for World War II. Nazi panzers were feared in the war because uh, Germans had more of them than the Allies because, you know, it's harder to bring tanks all the way from America over to Europe or even from Britain. Allies had them, but not in mass like the uh, Nazis did. So it was like one of Hitler's proudest army divisions. And this thing's going to be a beast. So uh, 
we're gonna have to play it kind of cool. At least we get a little marker of where it is. It's that star over there on the menu. So we're gonna actually run around here and try to plant some mines to take it out. You know me, I like to try to be kind of clever. So I'm gonna try something a little bit sneaky. Don't know if it's gonna work actually, but uh, we're gonna give it a try. Let's get out our mines here. Okay, so I am going to plant a mine right here actually. Because if it backs up into that little area, we're gonna be able to do something kind of cool. But uh, if it doesn't, then I'm going to try something else and plant a little mine right here. How about? Okay. So it's basically on its way. It's kind of cruising around. We're going to get up here in this little watchtower here. Get some cover and watch it come around and hit one of those. Oh, there's a grenade for us. We don't even need it. Okay, so let's see if it falls for one of our two traps. If not, we'll go to plan B. Here it comes. I don't think you can see us from up here, but come on, man. Come on, man. Fall for our little trick. Yes. Hit that mine, baby. Sweet. Oh, I'm so happy about that because you know why? Because we're going to be able to jump on this uh, turret if it will let us. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to save the game in case it uh, fires off at us. Because all it's going to take is one shot and we're dead. All right, so hold on. I'm going to save the game real quick. Okay, so let's give this a try. Now, just real quick, the areas that we want to target are those little... You see that? He found us. Well, that sucks. <laughs> but anyway, those little uh, target points are where we want to shoot. You know, I'm going to do something weird. I doubt this will work. But I'm going to try to throw a rock over there and see if he turns the... Uh... He didn't. How about over there? Oh, we're all clear. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to mount this gun if it'll let me. It's... Oh, there we go. Perfect. Jesus. I hate that. Do you see that? Okay, I don't know how we freaking survived that. But <laughs> let's patch ourselves up. Okay, that was just extremely uncool because it said mount turret. And I pressed the A button. See, here we go. Let's try this again. I'm pressing the A button. And if it makes me vault over that thing, I'm going to be just pissed. What the hell are you doing, Carl? God. That's crazy. Maybe I have to hold it down, maybe? I'm going to try one more time. Oh, here we go. Come on, man. Shoot those things. Alright, I'm gonna have to dismount. Alright, let's... Let's give ourselves a little bandage here. Okay, so there is a grenade over there. 
We can spare a few. Let's see if we can take this thing out with grenades. Man, that was such an underwhelming throw. Let's try one more time. <laughs> that was the limpest throw ever, Carl. Usually he's throwing like 20 times farther than he needs to, but that worked. Okay, that was quite hilarious. Let's patch ourselves back up again. I was so hoping that uh, machine gun could hit those little vents, but I guess uh, that was a little wishful thinking. Nothing to loot over here, I don't believe, so let's go ahead and finish this up. Yep, all right, so we gotta head back up to that area I pointed out moments ago. Can we go up through here? Oh, that's cool. We can search around here. How about behind here? Wouldn't that have been a cool place for one of those war diaries? Oh well. Okay, so uh, we're gonna wrap the episode up right here because it's probably gonna roll into a cutscene and then right into the next mission. So thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope you're learning something because not only are they fun, you know, let's play walkthroughs, but you get smarter every day with them. So uh, I appreciate it. Hit that like button. You guys know those links by now. Dishonored on the left, last episode in the middle, homeroom announcements on the right. Share this video, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time on The Schooled Zone. Stay smart.